Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark III and welcome back to From the Depths Adventure Run with a slightly modified and upgraded cookie wagon from last time you saw it. Yes, things have happened. There was supposed to be a video yesterday, but there was another technical fault. This time not with the video, that was fine. It was the audio, it was incredibly tinny and I couldn't fix it. So as a result, there's been an hour of gameplay, roughly, which has been um, not used for a video. So I'm very sorry about that. Immediately of note here is 2 minutes and 47 seconds in warp plane of type harder. Warp difficulty 1.331. And I'm only like, I've traveled like a couple of hundred meters and that's it. <laughs> so yes. During the last video, I decided that I was facing too much small stuff again, so I advanced through a warp plane, which brought the difficulty from like 0.29 to 0.33, so yeah, about a about a 30% increase or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, let's get back in there so we can get, actually get some moving and get some stuff spawning. That sounds like an idea can't see anything immediately so I'm going to immediately turn to my west by the way the wagon is actually slower than it was before because it's had got some extra weight put into it but I'm going to run through all of the changes to make sure that you guys are still in the loop and know what it is and among other things I noticed as soon as this craft hit, hits 30 meters a second it detaches the drones it's got docked into it so I think that's just a general fault, so it means that this craft can't actually carry the drones too well. Another reason not to have drone craft. Anyway, moving on. Most obvious change here, a couple of control blocks on top. This is so that as I build the tail out I won't have to go and use the docking station. Just do that, so I can just access it here. One of them will recall the drones, one of them will just drop them all off, so very optimistic thing. It's just tacked on there so I can easily find it, basically. The rear of the craft has also been reshaped a bit. As you can see, I've um, built it out a bit. I've worked out how long I want it to be, and I've also rounded out and put a new jet engine assembly on it, which is basically just a loop full of big jet engines. <laughs> it's made entirely out of wooden blocks, and let's actually put this one a bit further back. Because what I want here is uh, rounding out the back of the craft while using these staggered jet engines to provide a lot of forward thrust. Though because the entire craft is actually a bit unstable at the moment. Let's drop the speed actually to just below 30. Yeah, that should be okay. Since the, since the craft is actually technically unstable right now because the back end isn't actually fixed, it's really tipping forward like that, so... Yeah, it's got a few problems, shall we say. There isn't a setting for speed, which is a shame. Okay, right. I'm going to leave that be. Now, moving forward on the craft. Uh, most of the resources I had at the end of the previous video to actually go out have gone into some RTGs. So this thing is now sporting 16 RTGs, which is providing more power than ever before. So, hooray for that. That's a, an update in progress kind of thing. Um, I have actually gone into the new ammo storage chamber and I followed the suggestion of installing an additional bulkhead in here which has now cut this chamber in half. It's reduced my ammo capacity to a measly 36,400 but it now means if I get penetrated on my ammo compartments I should only lose a third of them rather than if the back one had gone up, which would be anything between 60 and 70% of my entire ammo stockpile going up in one blow. So, yeah, that's a good thing to avoid, really. Moving forward, though, it is just cosmetic changes. Let's park and let the drone catch up. I've finished rounding out this part of the hull here, around the side cannons, giving it some extra armoring. And underneath, I've also built, built under here, in this slightly indented design which now covers where the ammo actually lies inside that gun casing so that that's now fully protected by the armor it's meant to have and it hopefully won't blow off a cannon again though odds are it will at some point because that is still a weak point overall hello drone nice of you to join me i've also dropped 
this part of the hull down slightly, starting to round out the bottom, moving back towards the uh, sensors just underneath. And that more or less does it for the shaping work because I've also built out underneath these wings as well, just rounding it out. There's still this gap here which I've not decided what to do with just yet, but the armoured hull is going to continue onwards. And something that is actually due quite soon for this particular design is a colour scheme of some sort. And oh, there's a resource pocket over there. Let's let's head that way, seeing as there's nothing else. And now I can't see it anymore. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. I don't see anything else interesting, so I'm going to head over that way. <laughs> hmm. There is a couple of other things I need to mention actually moving forward. So. Let's get started with the usual comment and response from what happened last time. There goes the drone. Slow down your speed, thank you. Twenty-nine point eight. Yep, it seems that the limit on the drones is actually how fast that it moves under the effects of the docking station and. Ooh, targets. See if I can detect that and see what it is. So yeah, it looks like a drone can't hang onto your ship if you're going more than 30 meters a second. And that's totally not what I was meant to be looking for. Where's the AI system? Here it is. Right. Ooh, two targets actually. A shirk and a drake. Fine. I have opportunities. Though sadly they sound to be a bit small. My targeting is pointing at something, I think. Let's follow this red line and see what it's going... Oh, hello. There's the Drake. Yep, thought so. Basic deep water guard aircraft. Uh, my cannon should be able to handle that one without too much trouble. That resource zone is actually pretty... Really, really bad. Much worse than one I came across last time, which had like 3,000 resources in it. <laughs> oh, that was a good time. 3,000 resources without having to do a thing. Oh, well. I think the Drake's probably going to get the worst end of this little meeting. Yep, it's already losing blocks and getting shredded. Goodbye, Mr. Drake. Now then. The main comment response I have to do here in regard to what was being talked about in the last video is actually regarding turning this craft into more of a drone-type ship. Yeah, you're coming apart at the seams, you are pretty much a goner. And, the, well, if there is the uh, problem of going at 30 meters a second, which is actually something I've discovered during the previous video. But, since there's a missing video, as you can gather, if I was going to add some drones, I would have done it by now. But I have not. So, there must be a reason, right? Well, actually, yes, there is. Oh, 46 resources. Uh, that wasn't very much at all. And the reason is that I can't, well, I don't think I can anyway. Release all, actually yes, test that. that, that should release my little drone, yep. The reason for that is I don't think I can actually create Listening. a worthwhile drone to go with Listening. Listening. the cookie wagon. Listening. Moving out, moving out. Let's just go over there, thank you. I don't think I can create a, re a worthwhile drone to go with the cookie wagon because um, this craft is already really built out and armoured up, so it could only really accommodate fairly small drones at this point. I would much prefer to have a micro drone because they are much smaller and harder to hit, so I was investigating what I could do, like could I install a jump drive into it to make it more evasive? I probably could actually, but it would increase the cost quite a bit. And armouring, how heavy could it be? Not much. Weapon systems? Not much. Oh hello, here comes the thing. Um, another... Yeah, that's another deep water guard plane, I think, and it's already losing wing pieces. Okay, you're going to die very soon. So I was, I was also looking at the weapon system, because to make a small drone, you need to have a small but effective weapon system, but everything's got its drawbacks. Like, um, I could have fairly easily made a compact missile drone. It would have only had a couple of missiles in the tube, but it would have been strong enough to do a fair bit. There is that going for it. Uh, yep, you are 
pretty much crippled, aren't you? Oh dear, now the torpedoes are coming after you. And you're di dead anyway, so... Yep, you're dead. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, I was looking at the different weapon systems and things like that. I also was investigating the, um, the jump drives, as I mentioned, but really costly thing to put in, so not really worth it. Why was that thing more valuable than the Drake? Maybe it's because I shot its AI core out, I think. Yeah, that's probably it. Also, note to self, drop resource drone closer to resource circle. It's still not reached it just yet, because it's, it's actually pretty slow in the water. Anyway, yeah. Um, I could have made a missile-based system, and that would have been like a two-shot missile launcher. Ammo would have come mostly from the actual wagon itself for reloads, but it would have still been a high explosive core in the middle of the missile drone, ready to just go bang as soon as something punched through its armour, which would be really easy to do, actually, because it, to keep it light and keep it small, it would have really thin protection. It also couldn't really fuel a shield too well either, because it would just have uh, limited batteries. If I extended the batteries, that would take too long as well, and cost too much. Order complete. Because I am of the opinion that a really small drone is difficult to do in a really strong and effective way, unless you're using them en masse kind of situation. And to be frank, I am not equipped to deal with drones en masse. Not on a craft this size. If I want to do drones, it would be a full-sized, full-scale thing. Oh, you're done already. Fine. Whereas something like this is just... Um, it's got the drone for convenience sake, but there's not much else I can really put to it. Just bring the, the drone back now. I might as well still need to rename it. Uh, moving on from that, a small cannon would probably be an ideal one, but a small cram cannon would be pretty limited in effectiveness. It's kind of odd, really, because you, as the um, for simple compact systems, cram cannons are normally better because they can do more with less space. But as you get into the territory of um, super small cannons, then you are actually becoming well. You get in the situation where, if you get the really small calibers, it's actually becoming better to use the actual cra the actual advanced cannons again because you can make really small, really light shells on those things, which are far, far faster and carry more punch as well. The cram cannons are superior in explosive aspects, but in small calibers, advanced cannons trump them in almost every other way. So, yeah, not not exactly ideal, to be quite honest. Let's put a 2 meter in there, yep, 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 and 1 meter there, yep, okay. So, yeah, it's all problems, and it's all stuff that's not really going to work out too well, as far as the physical weapons are concerned. Now, NG weapons. I didn't, I didn't skip on this, I actually still did my homework on it. And the first one I looked to was particle cannons, to see if I could fit a particle cannon into it. Answer was, yes I could, but it would still be a fairly bulky drone compared to what else I could do with it. Because, you know, the main core of a particle cannon is actually really big. And there's nothing else to be said about it. Like that, like that. Oh, I've put those out of position. Fine. So I could build a particle cannon based drone, but it would be heavy on the power, heavy on the weight, heavy on the battery actually as well. Considering that um, particle cannon shots take directly from the battery, so if you want to be a powerful one, it's got to be slow for charging and power hungry. So there's not really much room for compromise as far as a strong particle cannon strike is concerned in a small chassis. And it also does the cardinal sin of a micro drone kind of design, which is it would cost too much to build and replace. And end of the day, why do I want a cheap drone? Because I know for a fact it's going to get blown up a lot more often than my main ship is. So it's got to be cheap to replace it, otherwise I'll be just hemorrhaging resources, basically. Tons of resources going all over the place, and yeah, that's looking quite nice. 
But I seem to have made a slight mistake down here, which is... Uh... Wait, have I made a mistake? Hang on. I need to check my jets. Place by one, yeah. Not good. Yep, I done goofed. Bye bye. Okay. What I did was I I angled it too sharply so the jets weren't working right. Mm. Done it. Okay. That's okay though. I, c I can still fix this. I, I should have figured out that I did that, but I didn't, so. Oh well. Let's get this thing sorted out again. Now, last weapon system. And that would be. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, yeah. Last weapon system would be a laser. Now, I think a micro laser would actually be a fairly viable weapon system to go onto a drone because you could um, you could work it out. You could do it fairly easily, but the drawbacks would be there would be some cost involved. And I've done this wrong again. Yay! There we go. There would be some cost involved, there's no way around that, because to make a decent laser using a really compact system, you actually have to use a storage cavity, which is that 3 by 3 by one storage block, which will hold a lot of power but won't generate it. Then you need to have on that a standard input cavity fitted with four pumps, because that will give it a decent recharge time and significantly reduce how long you have to wait between shots if you want them to be a certain power and on a craft like that you do want your shots to be of a certain power there is definitely that maybe not quite as rounded as I wanted oh well, I don't I don't mind the staggered design so yeah I'll go with I'll keep that I'll keep it so yeah I could build a laser but it's going to be a slightly odd shape drone that as well and it's um, not going to match more, the most compact design possible, which is actually the missile base drone. Let's start moving, see if I can figure something to spawn. If I went for a missile base drone, I could build one which was like... Yep, bye-bye resource drone. If I went for a missile base drone, as small and cheap as I could get it, I could probably build one which was like two blocks thick though there wouldn't be any kind of armour on its internal components at all. I must admit to that. So it would be horribly, horribly vulnerable to just about anything. Hmm. On the bright side though, it would be incredibly small and incredibly fast. So there is also that going for it as well. And I don't think I need to worry about increasing the speed of this thing anymore because it's if I go faster than this, I'm going to actually l lose the drone, most likely. So let's go ahead and start arming up around its actual storage cage. Uh, sorry, storage cage? I mean docking bay. Yes, of course. I think that's a good thing to do. I've increased it um, like this because... Oh, let's pause and get the drone over here, actually. I need to double check my figures on this. Because since it's got an intrusion coming up into the craft, I need to make sure that it's actually got the right size for it. So let's do that. So yeah. I'm sorry, I've been blathering on, haven't I? <laughs> I have. I definitely have. I've been blathering on, but end of the day, I don't think any combat support drones would be a, an especially good idea for this particular craft. It's not built for it. If you want to build a heavy drone type ship, or a brood brood ship, or a mother ship, you really do need to include that factor in the design from the word go. Five, eh? Yeah, I was right to check. I was building this as if it was a three. Five across, so let's drop this down to here. This is where I want it to go to. There we go. So even if this thing twists and turns a little bit, it won't actually catch on the sides and cause major problems at all. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, of course. I've got to worry about those side bits, so let's do that like that. Okay, fine. 
And that's actually created the tilt finally as well. So yeah, I've talked about the drones, I've talked about what's going on there. So I'm going to actually do my customary skip in the video now, since I've actually talked for most of this one. And not seen much combat. So I'll get back to you as soon as I've got something interesting and I've managed to build up this rear end a bit more. So yeah, catch you in a few moments. Well, something stuck up on us. It's a scuttlebug. Hmm. I've not actually seen this particular craft type outside of the campaign. I know it's a fairly advanced deep water guard design, but other than that, I don't really know that much about it. Except that it's um, it's got a lot of aesthetic shaping, like these cannon barrels on top of it, and ooh, it's firing back. But I think my cannons are still better. It's using air bursting flak shells. Is it? No, not flak. Fragment shells. It's using air bursting fragment shells. Interesting. It's inflicting some minor damage as well, it seems, but nothing, nothing serious. Minecraft is going to shrug this off without too much trouble. Except for those wooden turrets, actually. I do need to do something about those. Also, they're not all fragmented properly, so. Yep. Oh, they've got something heavier. Oh, well, I think I'm going to pick this thing apart anyway. Hey, did you damage my drone? You scuttlebug. Yep, <laughs> that's definitely a heavier cannon type. Okay. But I'm closing in and my weapons are firing in. So yep, it's just had an internal explosion. Okay, scuttlebug is El Dezo. Very much El Dezo. There was something else that spawned over there as well. Now, how much are you going to give me? Hmm. I'll just have to wait for it to actually die to find that out. 3,900, come on. Oh, that includes what you gave me. Okay, fine, sure. Oh. Never mind. Another 400 days here. I'm just not close enough. Okay. Be that way. Fine. See if I care. I'm so sensitive. I I, I do care. I really do. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's turn to face that next guy and talk a little bit more. Because there are actually a few things I do need to mention. And apologies, but this does seem to be more of a talky kind of video. There's been no real action so far. So, first things first. Things that I did while I was skipping just there. As you can see, I've been working on the back. I've taken off those um, small turning thrusters that were back here and replaced them with large ones. So, that's made this craft significantly more steerable compared to how it was before. So yeah, that, there is that. There's also this, um, these little additions here to stabilise it while it's in flight. Now the problem is, while its drag profile keeps changing, I'm going to have to keep shifting these engines around. But overall it is now steady and flying on an even keel, so... Come on little drone, you can keep up. No you can't, I'm going at 43, 44 now. Ah, well, when this design gets published, you can choose to keep or just, just scrap that little drone. Either way, both options. The docking bay would make quite a nice little drone bay. Sorry, not drone bay, bomb bay, actually. Because it's like a big area underneath there. And it's even been shaped a little bit. Now, moving on. There's something else I wanted to mention, which is I've got these side bits on the edges of the bay worked out now. So, there is that. And the reason I have covered these over is because I plan to make use of them. See, that's going to be a three, fine. That's going to be a four, fine. I'm going to wall these off now, just to do that. Because I feels like it, effectively. Mm -hmm. And with those walled off, I can now go ahead and install some more resource storage. I don't think this made it into a recording, because I either mentioned it um, last video or the video before, but I am planning to ha have more resource storage around the back area, because this is where the drone is. I think I mentioned it, but not 100%, so there it is. 
because when I refit this thing, I want it to be chock full of resources, ready for the restock, and so I can really do something special with it. And oh darn it, I did that without the mirror mode on. More fool me. Yes. However, there is also something else that I want to mention as well, which I do need to talk about, and that is the fact that, um, you know the whole responding to your comments kind of thing in the videos? That is going to be stopping in about a week's time. Now, it's not because I'm go gone off it, it's not because I'm saying, nope, heck with you guys, I don't care anymore, go away, no. With look, I'll still be responding in the actual comments sections, it's just not in the videos. Now, what's happening in a week is that I'm actually going away for a fortnight. And so I've been pushing my computer and recording, trying to make sure that my videos and channel have got enough to keep going. I think my computer is throwing a few tantrums about that, actually, and overheating, and that's probably part of the reason for the technical faults, because it's... I'm pushing it as hard as I can, effectively, just to make sure that I've got everything that I want to have ready, ready. So, yeah, that might be a cause. Question mark. But, yeah, basically I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Now, the one that I've not been pre-recording yet is this series, because, as I said, whole responding to you guys and your comments is an, a pretty big part of it and a big deal to me. So, I'm not ready to get rid of that just yet. But sadly, it is going to be a casualty when I go, because I will not be able to access the system. I won't be able to, you know, actually render and record anything anymore. So, yeah. In a... F in, a in a... I'm sorry, I've, I've lost my train of thought. That'll happen sooner or later. Yeah, in, in a, a week's time, roughly, I'll be going to pre-recorded videos for this series. And my current goal for while I'm gone is actually to do four videos per week. And try to keep up with that uh, that particular schedule. So, I'm probably going to do that this week as well, actually, just to try and make things a little bit easier, so it's a bit more of a transition. But, something I've not got nailed down is I do not know when... I'm going to upload them. Sorry, not upload, that's the wrong word. Release them is actually the word I'm looking for. When am I going to release them? Now that is a very good question, and one that I, I'm actually trying to invite your input on. Hence why I'm just babbling all over the place. Because I want to do four, and I want them spaced across the week so you've got something to watch from me always, pretty much, when you tune in. Bye bye drone. Please try to keep up with me. I know you can't. Cancel firing. And this ship is now unstable again because of the modifications. Yes, of course it is. Oh well. It, it keeps doing that. I don't even know what I'm facing. So yeah. I've, what I've got is two different upload schedules. Which um, I'm thinking of doing. Oh. Casket bolt. Yep, you're already dead. Fine. First one is what I'm going to do this week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's uh, two sets of two in the Monday to Friday pattern, which I normally try to follow. I don't think you guys have actually picked up on that if you're here just for the From the Depth series, but this vid this channel normally uploaded Monday to Friday before you guys turned up and rocked my world, so to speak. Actually, no, that's true. You did rock my world. You've rocked this channel and everything I expected from it. Thank you very much for that. But still, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is one thing, and the other one I'm considering is to do a Saturday, Sunday, because I, this has been my only regular series on Saturday, Sundays for quite a while now, actually. I did do some others, but I stopped recording them. So, Saturday, Sunday, and then I am thinking a Tuesday, Thursday for the other two videos for the week. So, it'll be one pair at the weekend and then two more during the week, just like that. But, um, I'm wondering what you guys think of that. 
and do you agree with that schedule? Would you rather have something else? Please feel free to let me know, because I want to know what are you doing back there? Oh, you can't figure out your approach pattern, fine. Come on, little drone, you can do it. Wait, what, what are you doing, little drone? Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, there we go, and suddenly it's turning it, and it's fixed. Fine. Okay, come on ahead, come on ahead and dock. Yep, slots right in like it's meant to be there. So yeah, what, um, what video upload schedule you prefer for this series, let me know, and I'll happily accommodate for you, you for that. You will still see me in the comments, most likely, because where I'm going, I should have access to an internet, so that should let me get onto YouTube, at least. Though, as I said, no recording software will... No. Recording software will be available. I have thoughts for that. Spoilers for a certain someone that I'm visiting, but... Yes, I do have plans for that, but I'm not going to say any more about that. Thank you very much. But moving on. I will have recording software. I won't have any ability to render or upload videos, however, so that's why I'm going to make sure I've got everything sorted out ahead of time. Actually, I'm going to have to check the dates. It might be as, as much as uh, two and a half weeks worth being pre-rendered, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's just a number. Anyway, I'm just mentioning that now so that you guys know about it, and you can let me know what you think, and blah, blah, blah. I think I've said that like five times already. And then I'll mention it again later this week when I make the transition to pre-recorded videos. Just to make sure that you guys know that that is the milestone. That is when I will not be able to respond or act on your comments in the videos for the immediate future. So that will be going away and then it will come back once I come back and get access to my main computer again. Wow, I spent so long saying all that, and <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I, I just don't want to mess this up, so I'm being as transparent as I can, and consequently I'm saying too much, and yada yada yada. Hmm. Oh, something else that I should probably ask about actually is, colour schemes. Do you have any suggestions for a colour scheme for this thing, because... That's something I also mentioned. It does need one. It's about that point. Otherwise, it's this big metal block, effectively. So, it does need something to change its appearance. I think I'm doing a really good job with uh, the shape of it, but it could do, it could use more. It actually needs something to add some more visual distinction to it. So, colour schemes. Yeah. If you have any ideas for that, again, just let me know, and I'll see what I can make use of. There is something actually really quickly while I remember it again because I keep remembering and keep forgetting. Let's get out of build mode. Thank you. Go down here. There you are, Mr. Mr. Resource Drone. Right. This is the last thing I'm going to respond to in the comments from the previous video. And that is going to change this into the... Yeah. The chocolate chip. The chocolate chip drone, because this is the cookie wagon, so it's got to have chocolate in there somewhere. You know, chocolate chip. Perfect. I know there was the sugar chip one and um, a few other mentions, but chocolate sold it because I have a sweet tooth, so I like chocolate, so... There you go. This drone is now the chocolate chip drone. <laughs> sure. Yep. Cookie wagon and the chocolate chips. Can't have one without the other. But with that, it's actually time to end this particular video. So, this has been I Am Mark III. Thank you very much for listening to me waffling on for about half an hour about this, that, and the other. I hope it wasn't too boring to you. And, honestly, I'm not that impressed by the quality of enemies I've seen so far in this zone, but I've um, only just arrived here anyway, so, you know. There's still time, there's still hope. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get something bigger next time. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you some other time. See you later.